Welcome back to my channel. This time we are going to be having a short video lesson on alkanoids. The alkanoids they are under organic chemistry too. They are also regarded as the esters. All right. Now they have a general formula, ROCOOR. -O -O now this is their general formula, and it can be represented structurally as RO then C. O and O R. So it means this structure and this, they are the same. All right. Remember that R represents alkyl, alkyl group. And the general formula of the alkyls is given as CnH2n plus 1. So it means I can replace the arrows here with CN. H2N plus 1 for this guy and COO then CN H2N plus 1. So this guy and this they are the same. So that's the general formula of the alkanoids. And one very important thing that you need to take note of about the alkanoids is that they are a class of organic compounds that are characterized with the odor of fruits, meaning that. They are known to be having fruity smell. That's one characteristic feature of the esters or the alkanoids. So now, the next thing we have to look at briefly is how we can obtain the esters or alkanoids in the lab. How are the esters prepared in the lab? The esters are prepared in the lab by a chemical reaction between alkanoic acid and alkanol. So when you react an alkanoic acid and an alkanol in a reversible reaction, then you have to obtain ester with the process of giving water. So it means that when you have a reaction like this, an alkanoic acid, an alkanoic acid plus alkanol in a reversible reaction, meaning proceeding in two directions, then we have ester to be formed as well as water so this reaction the forward reaction there is called esterification esterification while the backward reaction is called hydrolysis hydrolysis all right so can i also say that esters are formed when there is a chemical reaction between carboxylic acid and alkanol yes the reason is because another name for alkanoic acid is carboxylic acid. So take note of that. So a chemical reaction between carboxylic acid and alkanol would form ester and water. So the forward still remains esterification. Then the backward is what? Hydrolysis. Now, this reaction proceeds when there is the application of concentrated H2SO4. Now, when you add conk H to SO4, because literally the reaction is slow. So, the process of you adding concentrated sulfuric acid is to increase the reaction rate, meaning that concentrated sulfuric acid, H to SO4, functions as a catalyst for the reaction. They are not only functioning as a catalyst, it also functions as a dehydrating agent too. So, it functions as both a catalyst, primarily as a catalyst, and then also as a dehydrating agent. But there is something you need to take note of because there was a time a question like this was asked in jam that a concentrated sulfuric acid during a sarification reaction functions as dash. And there was an option with catalyst and another with a dehydrating agent. So which would you want to go with? Because now we have two options and these two options are containing what concentrated sulfuric acid functions as. So the best to go with is that primarily concentrated sulfuric acid during esterification functions as a catalyst. But though we know it can as well function as a dehydrating agent. But in a case like that, when you see catalyst in a different option and then another option is carrying dehydrating agent, it is preferable you go with the one that is carrying catalyst. I hope that is clear. So let's see how we can obtain esters with this kind of reaction. Let's take a case study. Let's say we want to react ethanoic acid 
ethanoic acid plus ethanol. So ethanoic acid is a member of the alkanoic acids. Then ethanol is a member of the alkanos. So what ester are we to obtain? And of course, we are to get water. So how do we go about it? Now, ethanoic acid has a formula CH3 COOH. Don't be confused. Now, if you look at this compound, how many carbons are there? Two carbons. Of course, this should be what? Et, because you are having two carbons there. So this should be ethanoic acid. Please, I would want you guys to refer back to that video I posted on this channel on the shortcuts on how you can name the alkanoic acids, the alkanoids, as well as the alkanos. It will be of help to you, especially those that will be writing the forthcoming exam. So this is ethanoic acid, and then we now have ethanol, which is C2H5OH. So in the presence of conk H2SO4 functioning as a catalyst, then the first thing you have to do is if you check both compounds here, they are possessing OH and OH. But for you to actually form water, you have to take off your OH from the alkanoic acid. In this case, ethanoic acid. So you take off the OH from the alkanoic acid and take off the H from the alkanol. So when you combine both, you have to obtain H2O. Why? We are having 2H and 1O, H2O. Then we are left with this guy. So you have to start the ester with the precursors that is the remnant of the alkanoic acid. So in this case, we are left with CH3CO. So we write it here, CH3CO. Then the next thing you have to do, we are left with this guy in this other part. So what are you supposed to do? Bring the oxygen in front and then it becomes O. Then you write the remnant, which is c 2 h 5 Is that easy? Just bring the oxygen in front of C2H5. And that becomes what? OC2H5. So we have obtained an ester. Then what should be the name of that ester? It's very easy. Now, like I said, when you want to name the ester, that's in the previous video I made on shortcuts on how you can name alkanoids. All you simply do, looking at this, CH3COO, then C2H5. I will split this into three parts. That's the first thing you do. Then this last alkyl group, you will now name it as first. In this case, how many carbons are here? She is two. So hence, this should be what? Ethyl. Ethyl. Then next, we are done with this guy now. The next we are left with is two carbons here. So when you combine these two carbons, you have to obtain what? Et. So in this case, it becomes what? Ethanoid. So it's called ethyl ethanoid. Why is it ethanoid? Because we are left with two carbons. You get the point now. So what about if you are given something like this? C3. A7, COO, CH3, and then you are told to name this. It's still very easy. Split into three parts, my code, and then this last part, you name it as first. In this case, we are having one carbon. That should be what? Meter. Meter. Then next, we are having three carbons here and one carbon here. When you combine, you get what? Four. And four is what? Butanoid. So, boot is for four. So, this is called meter butanoid. So, that's how you name the esters. But mind you, let's say you find yourself in an exam condition whereby you have limited time and then you are asked a question like this, that a reaction between ethanoic acid and ethanol will give what ester? Now, in, the, in that case, you don't have to even write formula. All you simply do, there is a shortcut to it. I call it the REMA code. And what's the REMA code all about? Operation three seconds, you are done with your name of the ester. Now, Jam has asked you, for example, a reaction between ethanoic acid and ethanol will form what ester? Now, all you simply do, what was the alkanol mentioned? Here it was ethanol. And what was the alkanoic mentioned? Ethanoic acid. This is a shortcut. So pay attention. Now, do you know what you do? The ester you are to obtain when these two react is very easy. All you simply do, just remove this anon. And replace with YL. Remove this IC acid and replace with ATE. You see it now? So now when you replace, it becomes what? Ether, then ethanoid. That was what we got here, which is ether, then what? Ethanoid. So it's very easy. You don't even have to write formula. Okay, for example, look at this next one. I think this one you, you should be able to, to get it. Now you are told that a reaction between pentanol 
pentanol and let's say butanoic acid pentanol and butanoic acid we give what ester like i said from the alkanol remove the anon and replace with what yl then from the alkanoic acid remove the ic acid and replace with what a t e so in this case it becomes pentyl then what butanoid that should be the ester you have to get when those two react is that easy then again what about if you are not told hydrolysis remember i said the backward reaction is called hydrolysis why the forward is called esterification meaning a reaction between an alkanol and an alkanoic acid form ester therefore the backward reaction is when you carry out hydrolysis of the ester you have to obtain the alkanol and the alkanoic acid that formed it so all these are just big big grammar let me explain what i meant by that for example if you are told the hydrolysis of let's say um octal the hydrolysis of octal pentanoid the hydrolysis of octal pentanoid will yield dash and dash normally we know that the hydrolysis of ester yields an alkanol and an alkanoic acid so in this case all you simply do remember just put this thing in your mind that anon is associated with what yl then i see acid is associated with what ate this is like rema code this is called the rema code all right so since we were told to hydrolyze this guy so the hydrolysis of this guy should give us what remove yl and replace with what anon then remove what ate and replace with what i see acid so it means the hydrolysis of octa pentanoid we use what octanol and what pentanoic acid is that easy okay so that's how you go about attempting questions like this always put this in your head that is the remark code anol is to yl i see acid is to what ate all right so don't forget to actually put that code in your mind and like i said hydrolysis of esters gives rise to what alkanol and alkanoic acid why a chemical reaction between an alkanol and an alkanoic acid forms what ester by a process called esterification all right we see how much about the esters like the fast and oils they are good examples of esters i think that will be in our next video but meanwhile do well to actually hit the like button if you love this video if you find this video interesting and if you find the video to be of help to you you should do well to share it to your friends also then you are yet to be a follower or a subscriber to this channel do well to subscribe and follow because more videos like this are yet to come thanks for watching and i wish you guys all the best